Hello and welcome back to another one of my short but informative eSafety bits. My name is Wayne Denner, eSafety expert over at WayneDenner.com. Now today we're going to take a look at popular online gaming platform Roblox. Many parents have expressed concerns about their children playing this online gaming platform. So what is Roblox? How does it work? And what are some of the parental controls that you can use if you have children or young people who are playing Roblox? So let's take a look at how it works. Roblox is a user-generated gaming platform that you can create your own games or play games that other users have made. So let's take a look at how Roblox works, what a game looks like, how you can report anything that you experience on Roblox, how the privacy settings work, and also as a parent, how can I see what my children are doing on Roblox? So once you've created your account on Roblox and you've logged in, you can then start to look for games that you'd like to play on Roblox. Once you find a game that you'd like to play, you simply just need to double click on the game and then you will be taken across to a description page which has a little bit more information about how that game works. You do have to have the Roblox application installed on your PC, your laptop or your Mac in order to play a game on Roblox. So in order to begin playing the game, you simply just click on the green play button to join that game. Once the game has loaded, you can then begin playing right away. Every so often you will receive on-screen prompts encouraging you to buy unlock features within the Roblox game. Over on the right hand side, you can see all of the other users who are playing the game. If you experience any sort of abuse on the platform and maybe you want to block a particular player or maybe you want to report that abuse that you've experienced, all you need to do is click on the user's name and simply click on report abuse. You will then have the option to choose the player who is being abusive and also the type of abuse that you're experiencing on Roblox. You can also write in a short description and you simply just need to submit that to Roblox. You do also have an on-screen chat option where you can chat with other users on the app. This chat is publicly available for anybody to see and once you type in your message, other players can see that message. It is recommended that before you start playing games on Roblox, you do set up the correct level of privacy controls. In order to access your privacy controls, you simply just click on the settings cog at the top right and choose settings. From here, you simply choose the privacy tab and from here you can control all of the different privacy settings. Your options are who can message you, friends, no one, everyone, friends, users, followers and people you're following or friends and users that you follow. Who can chat with you within the app, which is this little app over at the right hand side. You can see that one person has already added me and I've accepted them as a friend on Roblox. If I wanted to chat with that person, I simply just double click and then it will open up a chat window. You can see that that person is currently not online at the moment. They will turn green if they're available to chat. Who can message you in a game, everyone or no one. And then also who can invite you to a VIP server to play a, another game and who can join you in a game. So those are your options in relation to your privacy settings. As a parent, how can I see what my children are doing on Roblox? And this is a great question that many parents ask. Roblox does have several ways in order to see the history for certain activities. When logged in, you can view the following histories from the related sections down the left hand side. So for example, you can see who is sending personal messages within the Roblox messaging system. You can see what messages have been sent. And also you can see what messages have been received. You can take a look at the friends and followers of that particular user on Roblox. And you can also take a look at the virtual items which were purchased and the trade history within Roblox. 
Now it is worth pointing out that some parents are warning of indecent and inappropriate messages sent on Roblox to some users. So therefore it is important to have those privacy settings set up. Roblox do say on their website that players aged 12 and younger have their posts and chats filtered for inappropriate content and behavior to prevent personal information from being posted. Players aged 13 and older have the ability to say more words and phrases than younger players, but inappropriate chat and sharing personal information is restricted regardless of, in, of the age. But then again, those parents are warning that indecent and inappropriate messages are being sent to some users on Roblox. So that's a quick overview on how the popular online gaming platform Roblox works, how the privacy settings work, and also how you can get access to seeing some of the things that your children are doing when playing Roblox. So that's my quick overview of popular online gaming platform, Roblox. As always, when it comes to online safety, having open and honest conversations with your children about online safety is incredibly important. Remember, anytime you see them using a technology device, that's a great teachable moment just to enforce online safety and getting them to think about how they're using the internet and social media. Don't forget, if you'd like to know any more information on online safety, please do stop by my website, over at waynedenner.com. If you'd like to invite me to come along and speak at one of your events on online safety, whether it's a school, college, youth or community group, I would love to hear from you. And don't forget, as always, remember to share this video with your family and friends.